My name is Triana Bouillon. I'm the owner of Oddfellows Coffee House here in Columbia Falls. Surface level, it seems like baristas are just someone who kind of makes coffee, a lot of the time espresso based drinks, or you have like drip or tea. Um, but when it comes down to it, it's really a lot more than that. I tell all my baristas when they're hired that we're here not just to make coffee, but we're here for the people. A lot of the time baristas are kind of treated like therapists. People come in and they talk about politics, they talk about their problems, they talk about whatever is going on, and we're always here to listen. I feel like that's something that's incredibly important and needs to be recognized, is that baristas do more than just make coffee. We're here for you, and we're here to listen, and we're here to give advice. And I think that a lot of the time that's kind of overlooked. One of my favorite parts about being a local business owner is definitely the connections that I'm able to make. Even just being a barista, I meet so many people and because of that I've made so many amazing connections and I've figured out so many different needs that our community has in Columbia Falls. Um, I'm super lucky owning a business in Columbia Falls. The community is amazing. Everyone is so supportive and so kind. And what I can do now as a business owner is find ways to give back. I can figure out what the community needs and then make events that are gonna help fundraise for that. Or I can schedule different times um, at the coffee shop where people can use the space for some, like things that they need. And I feel like making those connections and figuring out the needs so that I can give back to the community has been absolutely incredible. And I feel like I'm able to use Oddfellows as a platform to do that. And that's pretty amazing. I feel like one of the hardest parts about being a woman and a business owner is being heard. A lot of the time, I feel like growing up, I wasn't, what I was saying wasn't heard. I would have to repeat myself many times. Um, people would disregard my opinion because I wasn't being assertive enough. And when it comes down to it, it's not that I wasn't being assertive. It wasn't that I was being too nice. It was because they didn't want to hear what I was saying. What I was saying wasn't as important as potentially my male counterparts. Very early on in my career, I was told that I wouldn't ever be a manager, that I wasn't going to be a business owner because I didn't have the guts for it. And now I became a business owner at the age of 25 because it's not about always being assertive. It's not about being aggressive. It's not about getting your way. I think what it comes down to is that if you are resilient and you care about people, you care about your employees and you show people that, they're going to support you. And I've been really lucky. I've gotten a lot of support by amazing women, by amazing people in general um, that have really inspired me to press on through my hardships and continue to follow my dreams. Um, I've gotten really lucky with that. My advice that I would have to anyone who is looking to become a business owner, especially in the service industry, is to keep pushing on. Um, it's going to be hard. I took over ownership of Oddfellows in January of this year. So within, my fr within the first three months of me owning a business, I got to deal with a pandemic. Um, it was definitely really hard. It was stressful. I had to make a lot of decisions. But the thing is, you can do it. You just learn to adapt to the situation and you keep trying. As long as you keep trying and you keep pushing and you keep following your goals and your dreams, you're going to do it. Don't give up. And if you ever need any advice or if you want a listening ear um, or just a warm cup of coffee, feel free to come to me at Oddfellows. I would love to meet other women who are inspiring to be business owners and I would love to give any advice or help that I can because I think the most important thing is that we are here for each other and that we continue to inspire each other to press on through all of the hardships and all of the hoops that we have to jump through as women to succeed. Thank you.